Hi, I'm Pat Murphy Racy. I am a Sony artisan of imagery. I have the A7 IV with me today and I wanted to talk about the amazing feature of getting 10-bit video in it and tell you how to set your camera to achieve 10-bit video. This is such a big deal because the only cameras in the Sony lineup that have 10-bit capability are the cinema cameras like the FX3, FX6, and FX9, and the Alpha 1, and the A7S III, uh, and of course the FX3. Uh, but the a7 IV gets 10-bit video. It's the first full-frame camera that's not really a cinema setup camera to get it, and it's a big deal. Um, and we'll talk about why in a minute. But what I want to do is first show you how to actually enter into 10-bit uh, color space for the first time. So let's do that now. Then I'm just going to hit the menu button. And what we're going to do is we're going to ignore all these still settings. And we're going to come on down here to file format. Um, and this is, explains it's a basic setting for movies. Um, but here's the deal. It's going to give you full HD or 1080p. Now, if you got this camera to shoot video, you're probably going to want to be shooting at least, you know, XAVCS in 4K. So let's go ahead and set that. The magic setting is right here in movie settings. Once you enter this setting, uh, you're, the camera's going to be automatically going to 30 frames a second or 30p. We're going to change that to 24p because that's the more standard, what's called on-speed setting. That's the kind of what you shoot typically unless you're going to be doing a lot of slow motion. Now down here, record setting, this is where the magic happens. And as you can see, it's set to 60 megabits per second and it's 4208-bit color. Now when we press that button in record setting, we get a new option of a larger, like 100 megabits per second, 4208-bit, but what we really want is the top one, which is 100 megabits per second, 422 10-bit. Once we select that, now you're actually in 10-bit color space. Now what this means is that um, typically in 8-bit color, there's only 256 colors per channel. So red, green, blue, each of those get um, 256 colors. When you change the 10-bit color, you're going to get um, about a thousand um, colors per channel. So you're gonna go, it's not quite 3,000, it's less than that, but you're gonna get a huge difference. And what this is gonna mean is that when you're in post-processing and you're editing in Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve or whatever software you use to edit video, you're gonna be able to make adjustments to the image quality that will blow you away. Um, so in the past with 8-bit, you can only do a little bit and then it like turned to mush, or you couldn't really do much. But you're gonna, have, you're gonna be kind of set free for really toning uh, video files in the same way that you've probably used to toning still files. Also, if you're not really good at shooting video, but you're gonna have to do it for work a lot, and you're handing off files to an editor who has a lot of experience, they're gonna only wanna see 10-bit video files, I promise you. So the fact that the a7 IV has 10-bit video capability is huge. It's really big deal. For 2,500 bucks getting a full-frame camera that does 10-bit video in 4K, it's kind of awesome. Uh, it's really, really a good buy. So I hope this video has helped you. Um, at least it'll get you started in shooting 10-bit video. And um, I'm just excited for what you're gonna experience once you start seeing what's possible in 10-bit video. I'm Pat Murphy Racy. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe if you found this helpful. Thanks so much.